Samsung Galaxy J3 Orbit versus the Umidigi A3. Speed test coming up. So with the J3 Orbit, we have the Samsung Exynos Octa-Core 7885. It's clocked at 1.35 gigahertz. And it's also paired up with the Mali G71 for the GPU. You get two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs internal storage, and you also have Android 8.0 security patch, September 1st, 2018. Now with the Umidigi A3 here, we have the MediaTek processor in it. Not sure the exact model number, but it is clocked at 1.5 gigahertz, it's quad core. It has the IMG 8XE 1 PPC for the GPU. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know what that is, but that's the GPU in this device. Two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs internal storage, Android 8.1 on this device, security patch October 5th, 2018. Now the Atutu benchmark scores are where you see the biggest difference between these two. The Samsung Galaxy J3 Orbit has a score of 66,148, while the Umidigi A3 has a score of 44,943. Now it's about a 22,000, maybe 21,000 difference there. So performance wise, should be a clear winner in this case, but you never know. Now looking at the Geekman scores on the J3 Orbit, we have a single core score of a 973 and a multi-core score of 3,143. On the other hand, the Umidigi A3 has a single core score of 652 and a multi-core score of 1,760. Clearly, there's a difference between the performance of each device, but numbers is one thing, actual everyday performance is another. So if you aren't familiar with my speed test, I do a series of app opening tests to see which device opens up the applications faster. Afterwards, I do a RAM management test to see which device holds the applications in the background better. Depending on which device performs one of those two things the best, that is gonna be the winner of the test. Sounds cool, let's get started. So the first app we're gonna open up is the Play Store. So three, two, one. A little like a tie to me. Next app we're gonna open up is YouTube. So three, two, one. Okay, that goes to the Umidigi A3. Next application we're gonna open up is Instagram. So three, two, one. Okay, that goes to the Samsung J3 Orbit. Next app we're gonna open up here is Facebook. So three, two, one. Uh, I guess that goes to the J3 Orbit. Not bad for the Umidi J3, it's right there though. Next app we're gonna open up here is Spotify. So three, two, one. J3 Orbit took that one. Next app we're gonna open up is Best Buy. So three, two, one. We go to the J3 Orbit. Another thing to mention about my speed test is that if a device is opening up applications faster than a, another device, or in this case, these two here, one is going faster than the other, I declared to be a knockout in which I just cut the video off. There's nothing else to talk about. That device won. So we're on the verge of that here with the J3 Orbit and the Umidija A3. We hope that don't happen, but you know, that's life. Next app we're gonna open up here is Netflix. So three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna give that to the J3 Orbit. Now, if the J3 Orbit ends up opening up one more application faster than the Umidija A3, I'm going to declare the knockout. And that final app is going to be Twitter. Three, two, one. All right, that goes to the J3 Orbit. So, fake bell. Ding, 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 ding. Gotta declare the winner to be the J3 Orbit. It took that one simply because it opened up every, or well, almost every application faster then the Umidigi A3. So unfortunately, that's gonna be the end of this video here. But if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, but be sure to share this video with your friends and family and let them know that not all Android cameras suck. It's just not true. But until then, my name is Max Rock. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day, y'all. Deuces. Oh, yeah,